Hey everybody, this is my rant on the haters of the 1994 film Double Dragon. I originally didn't plan on doing this video because Double Dragon has come and gone. I saw this film was before my time. I saw I was real young when this film came out. I saw it shortly after it released on DVD and VHS, VHS. But after watching this movie several more times and seeing the negative reception it got back when it released in the um the um unneeded hate and negative reception it still gets today i decided to um do a video i decided to do a video on those um haters and i'm gonna start off with yes i, I love this movie double dragon it's one of my all-time favorite films and in my opinion it's way better than what people give it credit for is this oski worthy material no but for what it was trying to be and for the genre it is based on this movie um was good i love this movie this movie had lots of action it had adventure it had comedy i thought all the cast members did a good job and despite changing several things from the double dragon video games in my opinion this film still maintained the spirit of the double dragon um video games you have two brothers billy and jimmy lee in a post-apocalyptic world fighting on um, various gangs and of course just like in the games, these two brothers own a dojo, own a dojo in this film, they live in a dojo inside a theater, and, um, and, and, um, that's it, the only differences between what's his name is that, of course, as you can see by the title, as you can see by the DVD cover here, the, the brothers, the, the brothers Billy and Jimmy Lee aren't twins, and they're only described as brothers in the film, um, this film takes place in a post-apocalyptic new Los Angeles and not Japan. And in this film, they fight various gangs instead of members of the Black Dragon gang. Gang, And of course, the main antagonist for the film is an original... Koga Shuko is an original character created for the film, but is loosely based on the Shadow Master from the Double Dragon cartoon, which was one year be be before... Um, this i thought this was an awesome film like i said i thought the story for what it was was pretty good while being t totally different f with, from the game with this whole medallion one half of the medallion storyline i thought um the writing was good the only problem i have with this film and i've seen people bash this a lot was of course the cameos of george hamilton and vanna white and andy dick as the um weatherman first off i thought those were hilarious but I can see the problems people will have with them. The, actually, I don't have a problem with them at all, but I can, and I think it's actually minor to bash this, but of course you have Vanna White, Georgia Hamilton, and Andy Dick looking to, this is supposed to be a post-apocalyptic film, and um, set in the year 2007. The film, the film was created in 19, the film was released in 1994, so you have Andy Dick and George Hamilton and Vanna White looking how they did in the 90s, looking how they did in the 90s when the film setting is supposed to be the 2000, 2007. But nonetheless, I thought that was minor, and it was just a fun inside joke. I don't think it really wasn't part of the plot, so I'm not going to really um, bash. I'm not going to really bash that. I'm not going to really bash it. I think it's wrong to bash that. The special effects and makeup effects, I thought, despite the low budget, the special effects and makeup effects were good. I love how they turned Bo 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 into the the character Bo Bo Bo, the first antagonist in the game, the first major antagonist of the video game, they transformed into his muscular mutant looking self from the um, game, and I thought the actor, Niels Allen Stewart, B-movie actor, Niels Allen Stewart was awesome as um, Bo Bo Bo, and I love how, just like in the games, one of the very first antagonists the Lee Brothers encounter is Bo Bo Bo. Marion, being, being a gang leader in this film, I thought that was um, pretty cool instead of being a damsel in distress um character and the problem i have with the haters of this film it's entertainment if you don't like the film that's fine but the problem i have with this film is that these you have these haters who of course some like the bash people who like this film then you got these haters it's the same you see the same in the batman and robin fan base and with the um and with the what's the other film called again um um Batman and Robin fan base, the Green Lantern movie, the Green Lantern 
The Green Lantern haters from the 2011 film starring Ryan Reynolds and Dragon Ball Evolution. They 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 they, they make this they make these films seem worser than they really were, and it's like their mission in life just to hate these films and curse people um who like them and over exaggerate on how bad they are. I do that too, but at least my reasons are more profound for doing that. At least my reasons are more um legit for um doing stuff um like that. Mine are, are actually real complaints in the certain series and stuff I actually bash, but um and I'm admitting to that right now, so that's another plus for me. But um that's the problem I have with um people like this. And I think this film was way better than it was given credit for. Of course critics aren't gonna like this film. It's based on a video game series. Um I don't I don't care how much how much work you put into it, unless you appreciate stuff like this, critics, real professional movie critics, won't like stuff like this, no matter how much work and stuff you put into it, next, um, I, but I, but I thought this film deserved better than a 0% on the Rotten Tomato Mater, and this film deserved a much better DVD release, this is, this is a pretty good DVD release, but the special, the special features in this DVD really weren't that good, I would have loved for a long commentary, a long commentary on the film and why certain changes had to be made in a long video in a long video showing you how they did everything how they shot the fight scenes how they created all the effects and how they how they did the makeup effects I already know how they did all that stuff it's just be cool to see then like I said I want to I wanted an end of commentary from the actors on what it was like to work in this film the only actor who's ever really spoke on this film is um Scott Wolf the guy who plays Billy Lee I can't find it, but there was a video on YouTube where he talked about how he enjoyed this film because he got to fight. He got to, for once in his life, he got to film a fight scene. Then, of course, um, Robert Patrick appears. Robert Patrick, who plays the main antagonist of the film, Kogoshuko, he appears not to remember the film, not to remember um, the film. He said he he says in the early '90s he was involved in a lot of films. Some of them were good, and some of them were crap. In my opinion, this, along with the T-1000 in Terminator 2, were, in my opinion, the best things he, were ever, he was ever involved in. He played an awesome, ruthless, arrogant, charismatic leader in Ko Kogashuko. Like I said, this film was great. I thought it had a, like I said, I think it had lots of action. It was, it was hilarious. It was hilarious. Of course, yeah, that's another, that's another problem people had. Let me address that now. People had, people had a problem with the film making Billy... Billy Lee and Jimmy Lee, idiots, I idiots, and or more comedy like, and they did that because it's always with these video games film. The characters in the video games, because they focus more on video, on video gameplay than storytelling. The characters did not have personalities, so they they made Billy Lee the goofy, the carefree, goofy, tough, headstrong character. And they made Jimmy Lee the goofy. The, the goofy but more reserved, more um disciplined and more and much smart and more smarter and more cautionate of the um Lee Lee brothers and I thought that was pretty good. Both of these guys were good characters and I thought Marion was a good character too. Um this was this was just an awesome um film. This was just an awesome film and like I said it's way better than what was given credit for. In my opinion it needs to be a remake kinda in the style of that dr that new dread movie that came out two years ago with Carl Urban because that's just like this film only more modern and instead of uh two martial artists it's a cop with a gun it's two cops with a gun but it's the same type of um premise two martial artists a cop in a post-apocalyptic world fighting um gangsters and stuff like that gang members and stuff like that well all, well all right this was my um rant on the haters of the 1994 film Double Dragon all right dug out